I hope you are having a good day. Today we are going to be looking at Judges chapter 6 and 7. So if you've got a Bible that's got chapter and verse in it, go and look it up. If you've the Action Bible, you're looking at page 216. And if you've got a Storybook Bible, then you're looking for the story of Gideon. So today we are looking at Gideon. You know, he was an amazing character. He actually was an unlikely character character to be used by God. Not that God didn't think he could use him, but Gideon didn't think that God could use him. Do you know, we find Gideon in a wine press. He's actually hiding, threshing the wheat out into a place where the Midianites who were attacking them couldn't get the wheat. So here's Gideon just busy doing his job where nobody could bother him, where nobody was asking him to do much. He's just working with the wheat and all of a sudden an angel of the Lord comes to visit him. Can you imagine? Well, Gideon was like, uh-huh. And this is what the angel said. Judges chapter 6 verse 12. The angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, Mighty hero, the Lord is with you. The angel called him mighty hero. Gideon's like, I am just a regular guy. And the angel's like, no, but you're a mighty hero. In God, you're a mighty hero. Do you know, Gideon listened carefully to what the angel was telling him. And he was asking for a sign. So the angel asked him to go and prepare something. So he prepared some bread and some meat. He put it out in a stone. And just as the angel stood up, he actually touched it and it went on fire. And the angel went away at that point. Gideon was like, okay, I, I think that God, is calling me. You know, God then continued to speak to Gideon. He said, Gideon, I need you to go down to the town centre. There's an idol there. It needs to go. Can you please get rid of it? Well, Gideon thought, there's no way I'm going in the daytime. He went in the dark. He went in the middle of the night. He gathered 10 men and off they went to pull down this idol that was offensive to God. Do you know, that after that, Gideon continued to serve God. He knew that God had called him a mighty hero. He knew that God was going to use him and that God promise to give him strength. Do you know, Gideon gathered a massive army, but do you know something? Nerves, they were, his nerves, they were still there thinking, oh, I need a sign, God, I need a sign. So he asked God for a sign. He says, if I put out a fleece, will you please make the fleece wet and the ground dry? Now that doesn't normally happen. So he left the fleece out all night. When he woke up in the morning, the fleece was wet, the ground was dry. Do you know, he says, oh, do you mind God if I ask you for another sign? But can you do the opposite this time? I'm going to leave it out all night, make the fleece dry and the ground wet. Do you know, both times God gave him a sign. Do you know, Gideon knew that God was with him. Yes, he was. He seen himself as being unlikely to be used by God, but God didn't see him like that. God knew that he was a mighty man. Do you know, Gideon learned that God can use him. And you know something, boys and girls? We need to know that God can use us too. You need to know that God can use you. Do you know, Gideon found his strength in the Lord. And I've been asking some boys and girls to tell us, how does the Lord strengthen them? Listen to what they've got to say. God gives me strength when I'm feeling sad. God gives me strength when I'm playing football and trying to score a goal. And how does he give you strength? What do you do? Um, I pray. God gives me strength when I'm when I'm facing my fears and when I'm not feeling well. And what kind of fears do you have, Olivia? Oh, when, you're, when you're kind of <laughs> unable to play, because when you're gone up, it feels like you're going to tip back. And what do you do when you feel I scared? I pray to God to give me strength. God gives me strength through the Holy Spirit. God gives me strength and when I pray. God gives me strength reading through the Bible. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. Psalm 46 verse 1. Well, it's fantastic to hear there how the boys and girls know that God is their strength. Do you know that God is your strength and he can use you to Madison's going to share with us what we need to be able to do. So now that we know that we can be used by God, how can we prepare ourselves to be ready for what God wants us to do? Well, I'll tell you. 
all we need to do is we need to say to God, I'm ready, I'm ready to take up whatever you give me and I'm willing. Because you see, when we look at Gideon's story, Gideon was just a normal guy, just as Lisa said, a normal guy doing his normal job. But you know what? He never said no to God. He was ready for whatever God was asking him to do and he was willing to do it. And there's a brilliant verse in Philippians 4 verse 13 and it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And you know what? We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us as long as we are ready and we are willing to be used by him. So know that God can use you and we need to be ready and willing. And you know, when we love God, we serve him and we do what he asks, just like Gideon did what God asked. There must have been times where Gideon's heart nearly stopped beating, thinking, really, Lord, are you asking me to do this? But do you know something? He knew that in God's strength, he could do it. Listen to what it says in Isaiah. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40 verse 31. There we hear that those who hope in the Lord, he will renew their strength. And you know, boys and girls, God will renew your strength. As you know that God can use you, as you're ready and willing to serve him, and as you love God and serve him, I believe like Gideon seen amazing things happen, that you will see amazing things happen too. So we have another Sentinel Kids quiz for you. Go and get your notebooks and your pens and get ready to write down the answers. And boys and girls, can I encourage you this week to dig into the story of Gideon, Find out about the amazing things he did for God and remember he was an ordinary guy that, were, that was willing to be used by God. You could be doing the same. See you later. Hi boys and girls. Well, it is now quiz time and I hope you are listening to Lisa as she was sharing the story today. So grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil and get ready to jot down your answers to these questions. Question number one. What was Gideon doing when an angel of the Lord appeared to him? Question number two. What did the angel of the Lord do to the broth and the bread that Gideon prepared? Number three. What did Gideon do in the middle of the night with ten other men? Number four. What sign did Gideon ask God for before he went into battle? Number five, how big was Gideon's army to start with? And number six, how many men was Gideon eventually left with? Number seven, name the three things they took into battle. And number eight, in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31, what does it say about strength? Okay, so you need to email your answers in to Lisa and we will be picking a winner at random on Sunday at Kids Church. All the best.